Scarbrand, the Drinker of Blood, the Wrathful Reaper, but above all, the Exiled One. Bloodthirsters are the greatest demons of Khorne, burning shards of their master's hatred, strength, and wrath. All have earned gruesome epithets in service to the Blood God, but only Scarbrand bears the title of Exile. In the eternity of carnage that is the great game between the ruinous powers of chaos, no champion unleashed greater slaughter than Scarbrand. To Khorne, he earned victories uncounted. It was Scarbrand that tore down the gates of Slaanesh's first palace of pleasure, bringing vast, absolute ruin to the prince's harem within. And when the other dark gods marched united against Khorne, it was Scarbrand that led the eight hosts of murder to triumph. No pestilence could decay his hide, no sorcery could break his will, and no seduction could stay his rage. The mountains of skulls he claimed for Khorne's throne, and the oceans of gore left in his wake, were unequaled in all existence. His two great axes, Carnage and Slaughter, were feared across every realm, not only for Scarbrand's unsurpassed skill in wielding them, but because each possessed the soul of a rival bloodthirster that had sought to claim his place. Scarbrand enjoyed the favor of Khorne like no other, but it was this honor that would eventually bring him to an even deeper damnation. To challenge Scarbrand in any test of martial prowess was an impotent gesture, one that could result in only death. But it was a trivial matter for Zinch, the architect of fate, to turn the greatest champion of Khorn against his master. The pride Scarbrand felt in his conquest was kindled and twisted until the embers of hubris burned within his soul. The demon came to see weakness in Khorn, a god who only dwelled within his fortress while others battled in his name. Eager to prove his worthiness to sit atop the skull throne in Khorne's place, Scarbrand was goaded into ever greater acts of destruction. Finally, Zinch's designs reached fruition, and Scarbrand's pride and rage was redirected towards the Blood God himself. Scarbrand struck when Khorne's back was turned and his attention directed elsewhere. The mightiest bloodthirster ever willed into existence, Scarbrand's blow might have decimated mountains or toppled cities, but against Khorne, it was pitiful. Only the smallest chip was made in the Blood God's brass armor, but it was enough to draw his terrible fury. It is possible that Scarbrand's betrayal was unprecedented within the realm of chaos. Conceivably, it might have been the first time any god of chaos ever felt the indignity of such a strike, dismal though it might have been. It was certainly enough for just a moment to paralyze the entire Aether, as god and demon alike awaited Khorne's response. Though none within the Blood God's realm will speak of it, Scarbrand is whispered to have been seized by the throat and cursed by name. Incandescent with wrath, Khorne choked the life from his champion until all that remained was Scarbrand's bottomless rage. From the highest rampart of the Brass Citadel, Khorne cast the demon deep into the realm of chaos, forever banishing Scarbrand from his sight and favor. The Bloodthirster is said to have burned like a comet of terrible omen across an unchanging sky for eight days and nights. The impact of his landing gouged a canyon deep into the land and left Scarbrand's once mighty wings shredded and torn. Scarbrand was left frozen in that first moment of betrayal, forever deranged even by the standard of demons. He is today a senseless husk, tormented by a deep sense of self-loathing though he no longer has the wit to fully understand why. He has no personality, no thoughts, no goals, no desires, only a dull awareness of loss and a desperate need to redeem himself. He is an empty vessel. Yet Scarbrand exudes a raging madness. Even the most judicious of mortal beings cannot resist his corruption. Wherever he treads, families and friends Disciplined soldiers and loyal allies tear one another apart with wild abandon, devoid of any instinct for self-preservation. At the center of this anarchy is Scarbrand, his tortured roars enough to shatter buildings and burn away flesh. 
In exile, he serves the Blood God more faithfully than ever, perhaps in the hope that with enough slaughter and carnage spilled in Korn's name, he might once again enter the pantheon of the Lord of Skulls as his most favored champion. But this is an impossibility. There is little regret in the heart of the Blood God, and he spares none for Scarbrand. This dossier on Scarbrand, Exile of Corn, was supported by Creative Assembly, and I can't tell you how furious that makes me. Uh, 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 well, you know what bottomless rage sounds like. Thankfully, they've also provided the perfect outlet for my wrath, early access to Total War Warhammer 3. Join us on our Twitch channel, one hour after this video goes live, as we lead Scarbrand on a campaign of destruction across the old world. We'll get blood for the Blood God, skulls for the Skull Throne, and who knows, maybe a few smiles too along the way.